Welcome to one mega video channel subscribe to channel like the video and share with your friends In this video we will see some of the European royals wearing topaz jewels and side ring jewels which is birthstone of November month Catherine the princess of Wales loved a state manier ring and this pair is by Kiki McDonough a famous London based designer who is clearly a peer's favorite of princess Catherine's this earring feature two blue topaz stones surrounded by diamonds which are set in white gold while this pair of earrings is no longer available it is said similar styles of earrings will cost around a price tag of 6200 US dollars princess Catherine while at the time known as the duchess of Cambridge wore the earrings here in our picture to royal escort on June 18 2019 This five strand pearl choker is believed to have been a gift from Prince Charles the then Prince of Wales purchased at auction in 2000 for more than 40000 US dollars along with matching earrings in this jewel the centerpiece features a large oval shaped pink topaz surrounded by diamonds and was originally a brooch made in the edwardian period the chess camilla wears this piece here in about picture at royal escort on june 17 2009 Crown Princess Mary of Denmark wore this stunning blue topaz and diamond drop earrings by Anikat during a Danish trade mission to Washington in USA in the year 2016. Crown Princess Mary's colorful gown is by Danish designer Julie Fagerholt Hartmade. Duchess Meghan is known for preferring simpler yet delicate style jewels and this blue topaz is were one of her larger pieces in her collection. The Duchess of Sussex wore this studs to the Santa Bell charity polo match in 2018 where she and Prince Harry made headlines those days for their very romantic and public kiss. This statement brooch was worn by Camilla the then Duchess of Cornwall at royal escort celebrations on June 20, 2007. It features a large orange red colored topaz surrounded by diamond scrolls. The provenance of the brooch remains a mystery and some have speculated it once belonged to the queen mother or the then Prince Charles who is now king purchased it for his wife at auction as he is done with other jewels worn by the queen consort Camilla occasionally. It is seen this incredible pink suit of royal jewels is regularly worn by Sweden's queen Queen Sylvia. It includes a large necklace, two brooches and a pair of earrings featuring pink topaz and diamonds. The set or parur was a royal wedding gift from Tsar Paul I of Russia to his daughter Grand Duchess Maria Pavlovna when she married Grand Duke Karl Frederick of Saxe-Weimar Eisenach in 1804. It came to Sweden in 1923. Queen Sylvia of Sweden wears the beautiful jewels here in above picture at Nobel Bank quit in 2003 along with the cannot diamond tiara In a bow picture the statement pair of blue topaz earrings were worn by Princess Catherine the Princess of Wales to the premiere of the James Bond film Spectre at the Royal Albert Hall on October 26 2015 made by Robinson Pelham the pagoda earrings take the traditional girandole or chandelier shape and are crafted in the platinum with diamonds they were previously worn by Princess Catherine's mom Carol Middleton to the evening reception following the royal wedding of her daughter with Prince William in the year 2011 The Duchess of Gloucester, a cousin of the late Queen Elizabeth II, regularly wears the honeysuckle tiara, which features a removable centerpiece. Here in above picture, the royal tiara is set with a large size pink topaz to match Birgit's, the Duchess of Gloucester's pink topaz necklace and brooches. But the topaz in the tiara can be swapped for a diamond motif in the form of a palmet or an emerald, which is surrounded by diamonds. The suit of pink topazes is believed to have been commissioned by Queen Mary before being gifted to Alice, who was the previous 
Portuguese, the Duchess of Gloucester. In the 1950s, the current Duchess of Gloucester wears her pink topaz jewels here in our picture to a dinner at Guildhall, which was held in honor of the Norwegian royal family's visit to Britain on October 26, 2005. The Princess of Wales own a last statement ring featuring a golden side ring, which is set in yellow gold. Princess Catherine wore the jewel here in above picture to the premiere of No Time to Die at the Royal Albert Hall on September 28, 2021, with a glittering Jenny Peckham gown. The ring has been in Princess Catherine, aka Kate Middleton's jewelry box, for many years, seen on her in 2008 when she was celebrating her 26th birthday in London. Duchess Catherine later wore the ring to the royal wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle in May. 2018, soon after giving birth to Prince Louis, leading many to incorrectly assume the piece was a push present from Prince William. Weeks later, Duchess Catherine wore the ring, which has two matching side stones, to Wimbledon on July 15, which is the perfect accessory to her yellow Dolce and Gabbana dress. One of Princess Catherine's most worn earrings is this pair by Kiki McDonough, featuring a pear drop side print which is set in 18 karat yellow gold. The earrings are part of the London designer's classic range and can be purchased for 980 US dollars. Princess Catherine wears the earrings here in above picture during a visit to Little Village Brent on June 8, 2022, but they have been a regular in her wardrobe for at least a decade now. For her first royal engagement after Buckingham Palace announced a royal engagement to Prince William, Duchess Catherine, aka Kate Middleton wore the earrings for a day out in Wales on February 14, 2011. This is another Kiki McDonough design. This pair of citrine and diamond earrings retailed for around US$6,000. They feature a diamond star and two cushion cut citrines. The then Duchess of Cambridge wore these earrings to Wimbledon on July 9, 2022. Queen Maxima of the Netherlands has a number of sight pieces in her collection, including this drop earrings. They feature oval shaped sight rings suspended from diamonds and have a special link to the House of Orange, of which Dutch royalty descends from. The Dutch Queen, Queen Maxima's royal engagement ring, is of a similar shade, but the oval stone is believed to be a rare oval diamond and not a sight ring. The Dutch royal, while still Princess Maxima at the time, before her husband's accession to the Dutch throne, wore the sight ring earrings, here in above picture, to the royal wedding of Prince Albert of Monaco to Princess Charlene Wittstock in Monaco in July 2011. A rather unusual piece, this royal tiara is part of a parur or set that was gifted to Queen Sonia of Norway from her husband for her 60th birthday in 1997. It is known as the modern gold parur. The royal jewelry set includes a pair of earrings and a necklace and is one of the more abstract designs belonging to the Norwegian royal family. The central part of the tiara can be removed and the stone swapped for other gems with the necklace and earrings. Also able to change, here in above picture, Queen Sonia of Norway wears the set with its orange topaz stones in Germany in October 2007. This pretty suit of citrine jewels belongs to the royal family of Luxembourg. Here in above picture, hereditary Grand Duchess Stephanie wears the jewels to the royal wedding of Sweden's Princess Madeleine to Christopher O'Neill. On June 8, 2013, the jewellery set that features large side citrines, which could also be yellow topazes as they look very similar, set in yellow gold with tiny seed pearls. The royal jewellery set has been in the Grand Ducal family for decades. Queen Anne Marie of Greece owns a brooch featuring a large yellow topaz. The royal brooch originally belonged to Greek Queen, Queen Anne Marie's mother, Queen Ingrid of Denmark. The oval shaped topaz is surrounded by diamonds, and the royal brooch can be worn either with or without a pear shaped pearl drop pendant. Queen Anne Marie of Greece is pictured above here with her sister, Queen Margaret II of Denmark, at a royal wedding in Germany on June 18, 2011. 
for those people who are born in the month of November have two birthstones to choose from. One is citrine and the other is topaz. While most people may think these stones come predominantly in yellow color, but in fact they actually are natural gems that are found in range of colors, ranging from blue, pink, green and even red colors. Topaz is even available colorless, making it a popular and very affordable diamond alternative. And due to both stones being available in yellow, it can be hard to tell them apart without a proper look under the microscope. Topaz is the most common birthstone associated with November month and has been popular gem from the days of the ancient Egyptians. While its use was most widespread during the Victorian era, in this video we saw some of our favorite European royal women wearing topaz and citrine jewels. Share your thoughts on the royal topaz and citrine jewelry collection in the European royal families. Which were among your favorites and what do you love about the European royal family and what other known and unknown facts that you are aware about the royal families of Europe. Share your thoughts to comment below, like the video and share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching one mega video channel. Enjoy your life and have a nice day.